Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to use your oscilloscope as a continuity tester. Let's get into it. Alright, to do some continuity testing with an oscilloscope, we're just going to need an oscilloscope probe and something to test. And we're going to test one of these high quality custom built PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay makes custom PCBs for your projects. Design and upload your GURB files to the website. Then place your order and wait a few days for your PCBs to come. And that's not all they do. PCBWay also does CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Check out their website. There'll be a link to that in the description down below. And if you're looking to make your own PCBs, I would really recommend using PCBWay. I look forward to using them again in the future. So for your oscilloscope settings, just touch your finger to the end of your probe and just see what best comes up on screen. So this, is, this looks pretty good right here where I can see one sine wave and why this is happening is all the, all the wires in your house and also all the power lines that aren't very well shielded. So they're radiating uh, 60 hertz and our bodies pick that up and you can see there's a little bit of uh, voltage induced into us here uh, from the power lines. So what we can do with that is we can touch whatever point in our PCB we want to test and then we can take our probe and just go through and see if we can find which one is the noisiest and which one is connected. So it's this one over here that is connected over to where I'm touching with my thumb. But the thing is, it won't be very accurate because your thumb is so wide. So another option is, is just to connect a random wire to the end of your oscilloscope probe. And you can see we're picking up uh, just a whole bunch of noise. Uh, connected to this wire. This wire is not connected to anything. So, yeah, it's just going to be picking up noise. So, what we're going to, what we can do now is we can take our ground of our oscilloscope and we can connect that to wherever we want to test. And then, then we can just poke around with our probe until we find, uh, find the pin that makes the line on the oscilloscope goes flat because it'll be connected to ground. So, Let's take a look. Alright, there we go. So that, that's the one right there. You can see that the line has gone flat. So our oscilloscope is connected right to the ground of the oscilloscope. And that will make the line across the screen flat. So you don't want to do this when any power is applied. It's just continuity testing. You don't want to make sure the power is not applied on your circuit board. So this is a bit of a ridiculous thing. If you ever really wanted to do continuity testing, you should just grab a multimeter and do continuity testing properly but let's say that you didn't have a multimeter on hand or you didn't feel like going to get a multimeter then you could use your oscilloscope for some basic continuity testing thanks for watching this video today hope you learned something if you did please subscribe that would really help my channel and i'll see you next time